Uh, hello, Minasan Genki desu ka? Welcome to the Fit Genjin channel. Today, we are going to be talking about a little bit serious things. Just serious no hanashi nani mas. Tokuni, ano bodybuilder senshi ni tsuitte no ano hanashi nani mas shi. Dakara, etto soko made kyomei ga nakereba kono jikan made itte itaraitara. You can see yotsu no comment. Ano mai no doga ni henji tiu ka comment tiu ka ano suru to ano shoto announcement ga aru kara. あのぜひぜひそこにあのスキップしたらこのちょっとあのシリアスのことをは見えませんねこの多分もうそろそろ2週間前ぐらいかなあのリッチ・ピアナとダラス・マカーヴァー both passed away and I would like to offer my condolences to friends and family of them、um, this video was postponed in respect for the families、uh, and, and relatives And friends of those people.、Uh, I didn't want to make anything too soon and I wanted to wait for some more information to come out. But、um, I also made this video as part of kind of a call to action、uh, for the, from the fitness community to learn from these、uh, tragic losses of life that were both in the same week.、Uh, so, first, I'd like to give a brief introduction of who these men were and then we can move on to what we know about their cause of death and then into. What I think we should be doing as a community to prevent more of that same loss of life from happening. So let's start with Dallas McCarver. He was a professional IFBB bodybuilder and、uh, he was a younger guy. He was a recent pro. He made his rookie debut in the Olympia in 2015, placing 13th.、Um, again, competed in the Olympia in 2016, placing 8th. And he had very, very、uh, high hopes for competing in 2017. I think myself and others were looking forward to seeing his adjustment from year to year. He, he was living with another IFBB Pro bodybuilder, and they were getting ready for the 2017 Olympia together.、Um, according to Aaron Singerman's video, which is linked below, link is down in the s e he's a close. Uh, member of the bodybuilding community with both the Australian bodybuilder and Dallas McCarver.、Um, he was talking about how Dallas McCarver was found face down in the kitchen,、um, and it appears the cause of death was caused from choking on food. The next tragedy we're going to talk about here is Rich Piana. Um, so, some of you already know him in Japan. He has、uh, quite a large following here.、Uh, he was also a professional bodybuilder in the past. He moved into developing businesses outside of that real estate,、uh, fashion stuff, supplements. He was into everything.、Um, he had a massive, massive social media pres presence, arguably the largest. So, he was a controversial character inside and outside of the fitness community,、um, but he had notoriety outside of the fitness community, which I think is rare.、Um, but a lot of this controversy came from his demeanor, his business ventures,、um, and open discussion about drug and steroid use. And I, I mean that separately. So, he was both talking about drug use and Steroids, which are a drug as well in some countries, steroid use. So he was talking about having problems with both. both. Also, he was one of the few bodybuilders who openly talked about body dysmorphia,、uh, so body image issues. Now, on Rich Piana's death, you'll get no official word,、uh, but the circumstances surrounding his death do have some details. Um, if you check his Instagram, you can see that he was doing、uh, a cut. He was Gen Yo Chu. Apparently, according to his girlfriend, he was getting a haircut one day. He just passed out and fell over. She tried to catch him, and he was too big, too heavy. The paramedics were called. He was rushed to the hospital. They tried to resuscitate him, but they ended up inducing him in a coma. And when the police investigated, they apparently found、uh, some kind of drugs. On the scene, but his death was surrounded by a lot of false reporting、uh, by the news, and ultimately, that's just a result of how famous he was. I mean, he was a really big figure,、uh, like it or not, within the, the fitness industry. Now, so that we know a little bit about these two gentlemen, I'd like to talk a little bit about what I think was the ultimate. Cause of them passing away. 
let me start by saying the big headline in the mainstream news right now is like, did steroids cause their death? And so a lot of people that know a thing or two about uh, synthetic hormones would know that the answer is no. You don't die from just taking steroids. Um, it's a combination of things that go along with the steroid use that usually would kill someone. But um, the steroid use is more like a symptom of the problem in this case. So uh, the real cause of steroids use and the ultimate problem in the equation, in my opinion, is us, Shakai. It's we are the main driving factor behind people that do these things you know you might ask yourself well how is it how is it my fault well, I just work out I just buy supplements I, I just read magazines and watch YouTube videos or whatever well that's actually the problem in, in this situation so let, let me ask you some thought-provoking questions here who do you associate yourself with are those people drug or steroid users will that influence you do the brands that you buy products from support those enhanced athletes, those drug users? Do the brands and the athletes that you purchase or view, do they compete in drug tested organizations? Most organizations in Japan don't test. And if they do, they don't do a very good job. Who are you admiring in those magazines and YouTube videos? Are they really inspiring you or are they just trying to lie to you to gain your attention for their own benefit? Every time you open a social media account, go to the gym, buy a product, you are controlling the direction that the market travels in the fitness industry. What I'm trying to say is consumers have the ultimate power and responsibility for the direction that a market shapes itself to. In this case, you know we are responsible for driving the market in the direction that it did. And we're responsible for demanding more and more and more from all these different companies and people until it ultimately kills them. For over a month now, it's been a problem on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram where they are censoring and demonetizing and shutting off people's ability to communicate on YouTube about their products or their features or whatever they're doing. And they're censoring these channels that talk about steroids or bodybuilding or other kind of like niche things in the market. So what that means is that the mainstream media and kind of this corporate culture once again is kind of pushing the fitness community to the outside and they found another reason to distrust us and push us back out there. That ultimately results in less people having access to good information on YouTube and being able to make their lives better and be happier and fitter and achieve their goals, which in my opinion makes the world a better place so that we can all have a better happier world to live in. だから簡単に言うと、えっと自分の責任があるってこと。なんか毎回毎回なんか見るとかなんか応援するとかなんかあのジムで買おうとかあの友達になるとかなんかそれは責任見にくいかもしれないんですけど、責任を見るのは難しいかもしれないんですけど、あのちゃんと。考えないといけないことがありますね。はい、その分はおしまいになりますね。次は4つのコメント、返事とか答えしましょうね。まずは GTA0 さんですね。So he's asking me,、uh, what age did I start using protein and going to the gym? えっと、初めてのはあの12歳は初めてバーベルを座ったことある。あのレスリングなど、フットボールとか。いろいろ頑張るようにあの筋トレしないといけないことがありますね。だからあのその ABC チームとかいろいろあります。アメリカのスポーツチームとして。で、1年生から4年生まであの大きくならないとか強くならないとか速くならないから皆さんが、えっと、そういうプログラムオフシーズンでやってで、オンシーズンのためは自分のスポーツに戻るので、コーチさんたちがちゃんとやってるか全部。しっかりチェックしてるからあのそ,うそのために始めてあのプロテインはその同じ年であの初めて飲みましたねあの ON、オプティマム・ルトリッションのストローベリーだっけ GCA0 さんトレーニングとかプロテイン飲む
だけじゃなくてちゃんと食べるも忘れないでね頑張ってくださいじゃあ次 IUA さんからの水道水でも大丈夫ですかってコメントあの海外いろんな国行ったことあるでまあフィリピンとかインドとかいたらその水道水飲んだらとっても大変になりますねでもまあ日本は基本、ね、は安心と思うあのまあ、自分の県とか町にその水クオリティチェックはありますだから区役所とか市役所行ったらあのそれはなん,となんとなくその結果を教えれるかもしかしたらその水の回数の電話するかもしれないちょもうちょっと自分の,あの調べ方しないと僕埼玉に住んでないから分かんないけどえっと、世田谷の駒沢の方がとっても綺麗と思いますし美味しいと思いますそしてあの今住んでるところは結構あのパイプとか新しいと思いますからあの住んでるバスとかねあのちゃんとチェックしてねはい3個目の質問を答えしましょうハルスさんねあのタトゥーが入っても大会出れますかって聞いてはいでもそれもまたルールをチェックしないといけない。えっと、全部の大会が毎年毎年ルールがあの書いてくるのであの、しっかりルールを読んでから合わせるように頑張ってくださいね。あのそしてなんか、タトゥーはダメでも隠せれる。隠さ,隠されられるの、はい、あのその上になんかメイク書いたりか、スプレーとかもありますから、あのうん、場所とかサイズとかまあそれも人にぞれぞれと思いますけどあのなんとなくあのタッチ書いてもルールはダメと書いてもまだ出ると思いますねハルス・イノさん頑張ってくださいじゃあ次のコメントはルイス・フローレスさんからコメント書いていただきましてありがとうございますえっと頑張って TBS のサスケに出てくださいえっとサスケはねサスケはちょっとどうかなあの呪術、総合格闘技でもやるときになんかギーとか持つのときこの感じでいやって感じに引っ張るんじゃないですかそれだけで指が結構辛くなりますからサスケの場合はもっとそのなんかロッククライミングみたいに頑張らないといけないべきあるんじゃないですかだからどうかな、サスケ、まあ、皆さんが見たいならぜひ教えてくださいあのどうやって入るとかいろいろ。まあダンテさんに聞いてみるかな。だってことあるでしょう。皆さんいつもコメントかけてくれてありがとうございます。えっと、これから毎回毎回できるだけ4つぐらいの,あのコメントに返事か答えするから、ぜひぜひ下にコメント書いてね。で、最後の最後はね、えっと、月曜日11日の19時から PCF のバランス、一人一人に調べたいと思いますので、ぜひあの自分の PCF バランスで、その後はカルリー。のトータル心配なのはぜひ月曜日の夜11日の19時見に来てくださいでは皆さん最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございますえっとこれから僕が群れのトレーニングしに行きますあと上半身のあのだいぶ全部パンプアップしたいと思いますしこのチャンネルは初めて来たらいらっしゃいませこのチャンネルでは年齢性別国籍関係なく自分の有名の原因まで僕ができるだけ助かりたいと思います。だから一生懸命頑張りましょう。Until next time。確かのことは何でしょうか。<笑> Stay fit, 現人。